Howdy, Spider. Sp sp spider no, friends? you can't. You spider can't friends. talk. <laughs> you can't talk. We're loading. Oh. Okay, Howdy, yeah. Spider friends. You have to load their commentary. Oh, look how fast this is going. Oh, I <laughs> <first> did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it was so nice for a second. <laughs> yeah, when it was loading, it wasn't going slow at all. <laughs> See, I think the problem is that with the, the graphics that they put in, it looks like a crappy knockoff DreamWorks movie, and not a charming older, like, PlayStation game. Right. It's, it's just good enough to be really bad. Oh, hey, Look, we've got colors an, and polygons. An ice breath gate. Oh, we better for get ice some breath. Ready. Yeah, I have a Mentos. That'll cool you off. Yeah. Um, there's four. But, there's five stones, but apparently, like the fifth stone doesn't actually give you a breath, but like a wing shield. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, you're fair enough. Oh, sleepy bear. Spyro. I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible <laughs> that dude reptiles came out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. <laughs> that dude Maybe is just bouncing all over. This is really surreal. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I sleepy. Sleepy fudgy. This character design doesn't really fit into the spiral world at all. Yeah, he looks like he was like he fell out of a different game. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I know. The magic of his now the statue is moving. He hasn't just kicked in. Why? So, apparently, Hanar are dragons. Yeah, they got the same kind of reverb thing going on. This one grants you electric breath. Yeah, now we got electric breath. <laughs> now we can open that dumb gate from the beginning. Stupid dumb idiot gate. Not even good. For dummies. It's for dummies. Get dunks. Okay, head bash for no reason. <laughs> Why did he look at us? He shouldn't know we're here. Ah, fourth wall break and inspire a fourth game, fourth wall. Oh, uh. fourth tower. <laughs> Whoa. This electric breath looks pretty boss, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. What if you're faced with a taser? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't want to kiss you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to kiss Taserface. No. <laughs> a real tragic person. Yeah, it's like it's like Rogue from X Men, doomed to be forever alone. <laughs> beep beep beep. <laughs> you dumb sparks. Do you like farms? Uh, yes. Is it a robot <laughs> farm? Is it robot cows? <laughs> What would you say is the one redeeming? Was uh, what would no? What would you say is the best part about Spyro Two? Uh, the cows, space cows. Yeah. Wow. Good news for you. What really? Well, let's talk to the guy up there and see what he has to say. It was too much te text sparks. He said I... you can climb. That's basically it. Oh. I thought you were gonna. This ask guy your totally favorite. fits in the Spyro world too. <laughs> Look at him, Farmer Bill. I thought you were gonna ask what the uh, what my favorite farm animal was, and I was gonna say those crystal pyramids in the uh, the pen there. Crystal pyramids give the best milk. Oh yeah. He says beware space cows, and there's a UFO here. Let's like, I think that might be the one thing that could redeem this game, right? Yeah, space cows. Everybody loves space cows. They're merciless. Merciless space bovines. From your sarcastic tone, I'm, I'm betting there's not actually space cows. Don't worry, um, they exist, they're super shitty. I don't really finish the whole level, so there might be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let me down easy, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there's still leave me room for hope. But um, there might be something better, uh, depending. Yeah, there might be something better, depending on your tastes. Mm. Better than space cows? I have... I, I feel dubious, but what? Invisible man? <laughs> He's not supposed to be invisible. What the hell? <laughs> Sometimes emulator errors are the best. <laughs> Sometimes he got... On the plus side, now he looks like he belongs in the Spyro universe more. 
Yeah, that's true. He actually does. Don't. Oh, he'll help us. That's great. So, not farm, uh, not farm space cows, but space riptox, whatever that means. Why would you do that? Why not use space cows? Why are there two Earths? What? <laughs> are we on the moon? Is it just a system of Earths? Look at this. What the fuck? Somewhere, Rhyme and Dinosaur is popping mad wood. <laughs> Space dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, high five. Oh no. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, whoa. Space dinosaurs are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. They're not, they're not cows, but they're acceptable. Is this the moon? Are we on a different planet? Why are there two Earths? We're on third Earth, actually. Wait, is this the, the DC Mar Comics continuity? Why did um, they line up on the new Earth reboot? Anyway? Which does one Earth orbit the other Earth? Is this Mother Earth? Um. Hmm. This looks Earth pretty, Junior. This looks pretty fun to do, Jeff. I bet you're having a good time when you're playing this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, dragonfly! Oh, God. Hey, it's Akira! <laughs> it's Akira. Hey, it's Akira on the phone, you should answer it. <laughs> hey, Akira, what's going on? Oh, you're blowing up Tokyo? Yeah, go. Hey, it's Godzilla! Like Tetsuo! Wake up! <laughs> it's time to wake up, Tetsuo! Oh. oh, he's gonna stink. Oh, he blew up the barn. Oh, they teleported. That's kind of neat. And why are you running away? They're just they're dinosaurs, and they're not afraid of anything. <laughs> dinosaurs fear no man. Oh, hey, another stupid farmer. Oh, oh we got laser me. So they do the same thing as the space cows with laser book guns, but they're not cows. Yes, because but they're not they cows. They couldn't get the copyright to cows. Also, giant steely dildo. Just, it's right there. <laughs> it's just, damn. Kind of looks like a chest pawn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Independence Day. Let's go. <laughs> get in there, <laughs> bitch. This really scared me, but it's not an actual UFO coming to like destroy me. It's just like a platform that appears. Oh, okay. But I just jumped down before it actually came down. I like how you, your first instinct was to do a Bill Pullman and, and like slam up into the center of it to destroy it. I... <laughs> Naturally. Uh, okay. Where'd it go? Oh, it's a time platform. It, it Yay. Went away. Oh, we need to charge the dildo. That's terrible. Yeah. UFOs are powered by dildos. <laughs> well, that explains all the probing. Like, oh. Oh, hey. It's a yellow bug. I bet his name is Bumblebee. I bet his name is Totoro. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> My dragonfly in the air turn around. Would you hold still? You, Matt, you know would be great if, the, if instead of collecting dragon eggs, you had to chase shit all over. That'd be good, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, Mitnick. Mitnick. Hey, it's Mitnick. Huh. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> More bizarre than Akira. Well, that's in a farm level. Is that a reference to Kevin Mitnick? Because that would be a weird, like, early '90s throwback reference. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. No. Uh, and here we see, like, uh, do I really have to go on the UFO to progress in the level? Uh, of course yeah. you do. Of course I do. That was a nice, uh, like, super obvious edge for no particular reason in Barnyard Town. <laughs> <laughs> F you, Barn Town! Do I really have Look, to use... Like, the... <laughs> Yeah, but the actual, like, level seemed okay. The concept of it. Yeah. yeah. If, if you could play it normally, that might not be too un unpleasant. Who knows what dastardly evil things for it later in the level. Maybe they, like, the the space 
dinosaurs enslaved the space cows, so you have to team up with them. Oh, wow. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> a rich Spyro mythos. Yeah. I found it crumpled up in the recycling. <laughs> it doesn't belong there, it belongs in the trash! Boom. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, Spyro, I didn't mean it. I still love you, baby. <laughs> Even after all we've been through. <laughs> Even after all these years. Still my purple mission, baby. <laughs> oh, are we going to the beach? Yeah, we are. Is there a pirate ship? Is there a grand piano? <laughs> Slow ship. Oh. Aquatic form, activate. Oh god, don't! You're gonna kill everybody if you electric breath. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wanted to try it, but it just makes me blow bubbles anyway. Oh. More, more games need to have the quake, instant death, and water thing. Whoop! Oh, it was so smooth there for a second. I treasure those moments. The brief moments of clarity. Yeah. Boy, am I glad to see you. You might be able to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. But there's savages on it. Back in your action, Savages, torches. I tell you. Pull up. Hope. Those were pretty much all the levels we had access to. Alright. And so I think that means it's time to that we beat this game with like ten dragonflies, right? Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. This is an any percent run. No, there's one more. Let's beat it with eleven dragonflies. Oh. That's the that's the number. The magic number. Well, it's prime, so you wanna beat it with a prime number, right? Oh, don't electrocate the dragonflies. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah. That, oh. It's not like we need. It does not like we need him. Oh, oh! Now the game tutorializes me on swimming. <laughs> Thank God we got a tutorial for that, because otherwise we just know we'd figure out how to swim. Hey, it's I have no idea why the the range on that is so specific. You need to be exactly there to know when you can swim. Now we are going to beat the game. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Jump cuts. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it wouldn't ah. be a sparrow game if you couldn't Pretty swim fair. in the air, right? Alright, yeah. An old friend. <laughs> yeah, it feels like coming home. Oh, and since it's all like one big hub world, you can just swim to the last place, right? Yeah, you guess it. Unfortunately, because I I played it at such a bad speed level, I had to. It was a real fucking pain to get swimming in the air. <laughs> well, that's that's the joy of uh, bad spirals for you is is horrible suffering, right? That's the name of the game. Unfortunately, the next I, the early part of the hub hasn't loaded yet, so because because like in new 3D games. So you have to like go to a specific point, yeah, to and then it. stuff gets loaded. So <laughs> now there's, there's a lot of flags. A lot of no place going on. Oh, look at that sunrise! Over those things. But it's yeah, the sad. you can just if you in the PS2 versions, you can just run through the gate, get swimming in the air, and go beat the game. So the speed run for this game is like that. Uh, the world record is three minutes or and forty five seconds or Damn. something, maybe even lower. That's pretty impressive. Oh no! Now you're falling. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to like go into a circle to end it all, but you can't actually swim downwards completely. So you have to like aim it really carefully, so you can get in. So you can spiral and, down. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real pain. We're gonna do it. Alright, I'm gonna ready. end it. Uh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um. <laughs> of course that works. Uh, sure, and then you fall into the star hole. It's spawned. Yeah. Yeah. I think I melted into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> How much acid did I eat? 
my breath electric. <laughs> And that's the end of Spyro. Oh, look who it is. What? We've beaten you already. He's taking his time. time. <laughs> oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, well, apparently, a like, in the original game, you it even takes time to load up Spyro. the sound files for this text like this. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to take a long time, even. This is not not new to the this, this particular... Emulator shenanigans. No. I mean, it makes stuff worse, but worse, okay. but you know. Oh, he's got his wobbly blue cube shield. Yes, he does. Man, Ripto looks retarded. <laughs> it looks so bad. Amazing. Yeah. This boss fight is really amazing too, because. I mean, you remember in Spyro 2 when he had like three phases and he had to like use orbs and shit? Yeah. And it was a whole big thing. Now you just chase him and flame him, and that's really it. That's all you do. Cool. Good boss fight. Good final boss. <laughs> I agree. It's also kind of a, like a reward for having played the game, is you get to really uh, show off all the powers that you've gained. I mean, like, you know, running, fire. Yeah, his balls are getting smaller. He's not the only one. Spyro does that to a lot of guys. Yeah. Does he have attacks? He does have attacks. Like there, he hit me. <laughs> yeah. Which... Then he rebuilds the ice wall. Does he? I don't, I, don't, I don't actually know if he does, because... It doesn't last that long. <laughs> no. In fact, the, like, the system that does this is the same system that would do like uh, Ratchet and Clank games in later later years. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah the but system. nothing really changes. You like you flame him like seven times with the, uh, with the glass shield, and then you flame him three times without it, <laughs> and that's it. I Sweet. like how he gets to chain chain you if he hits you with the first of his blue balls. Yeah. Oh. Dramatic, wobbling. What what is he doing? He's screaming. <laughs> He's screaming for pain. Oh. We then defeated again. We win. Yeah. What a death animation. Very sorry. The magic of dragons can't last forever. Can it? He just says, "Ah, defeated again." Wow. What a what a thunderous end to a, a fantastic game. Indeed. All right, so we never need to look at this game again. You didn't read the thread, did you? What? Let's hope. I'm abstaining from further it. parts of this game. Y'all can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, retirement. Yeah, I, I wouldn't blame you. You can just hear Just Friend crying softly as he plays the coin. <laughs> That's pretty pretty good live commentary, I'd say. <laughs> fitting, fitting at least. I am already regretting everything. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought up fucking Edge of the Dragonfly, all right? <laughs> good work, GameCube port team. Good, good work. Hey, they took out the gate glitch thing. <laughs> and they made it actually, you know, work. So. Good. Get on the Get on the... So, uh, can I ask what the next bad Spyro is, or is it a secret? It's, well, it's not a secret. I mean, I'm just doing them chronologically. Oh. Well, then what's the what's the next bad Spyro? Or do you not have the Wikipedia? Um, out? It's <laughs> like it's like um, Attack of the Rhinox. It's another GBA one. Mm. But I, I, I've, I've never, like, I've never played any of them, except Season of Flame I played, like, years ago, in, like, an hour, and that's it. <laughs> so I don't know what game, what game that, how it's like. All I know is, well, I'm gonna try it, and we'll see. <laughs> Do any of the GBA games have reputations as actual good games? Um, <laughs> not really. Okay. <laughs> like, Season of Flame was, like, the, probably, like, the best one, I guess. The maybe most, the most tolerable, anyway. I think someone in I the think thread was uh, defending Attack of the Rhinox as a fun beat -em -up. maybe, not a Spyro game traditional form, but a beat -em -up. yeah, I think yeah, whatever. 
we'll see. It's a beat em up and it's got uh, sparks. It is the best. I think we're supposed to look forward to that this is the lowest of the series it can get and yeah. that will everything will be go better from now on. All I can well. do is stare into Sparks like pupilless robot eyes and feel terror. Uh, yeah. We're all gonna get shown up well, when uh when Attack of the Rhinox runs at ten percent speed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh just from no. just flee the thread and fake his own death, I think. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> There's supposed to be an ending cutscene, but it doesn't even play. <laughs> awesome. I think I think there is supposed to be an ending cutscene, but it doesn't play. So whatever. I'm Somebody not gonna forgot to plug in the cutscene. Oh. I'm not gonna okay, actively search for the cutscene now. <laughs> S Sound done. design by Womb Music. <laughs> the sweet sounds of Womb Music. So what happens then when you beat the game? Uh, it just starts you right back over at the beginning. Oh. Yes. Yes, it does. Awesome. Goodbye, crappy Spyro. Goodbye forever.